Hello dear teachers, today I have come up with a topic how to teach effectively. Before going to the topic, I am very glad to share with you there are many teachers who are following this channel. I am really glad. So for all of you, I am preparing this how to teach effectively. Whether you are a school teacher <clears throat> or 10th, 12th or degree or PG level, you may be a professor, whatever it may be, but teaching skills are must. If you take two kinds of teachers, one is gurus, other one is sadgurus. Who are gurus? Gurus means who teach the subject only. I have come inside of the class, I taught my subject, I completed my chapter, finished going out. Gurus. Sadgurus who teach the subject, who mold the character of the student, who observe, who, who will make a student all-rounder, who will take care of the student life like their kids. So Sadgurus, whom do you want to be? Gurus are Sadgurus. I expect every teacher to be a Sadgurus. You can change generations. A student will never forget their favorite teacher till their end of their life. They will say my teacher, my favorite teacher. So that is the importance of teacher. Now if you are entering into the teaching field, one is it may be by your choice or by chance. By your choice means if you have a passion, if you have a teaching, uh, you have a teaching passion and you love teaching field, if you have that interest then you will take it as a choice. Chance, no other choice. I don't have any other option. By mistake, unexpectedly, I have entered into the teaching field. So this is by chance. Though you have entered into this teaching field as a chance, please make it as a choice. Please love this profession because generations are in your hands. You can influence generations. Take it as a passion. It is your field. Start loving it. Know this teaching skills, how to teach, how to handle the children. How to handle the class, simple things, if you know it, you will love this profession. You don't want to leave this profession forever in your life. And what is needed is here, first of all, important thing to impress the students, to attract the students is knowledge. Subject knowledge is much, much important. How do you get this subject, mass, subject knowledge? With preparation, simple preparation. You must be mastery in your subject. One subject you are teaching, two subjects, three subjects maximum. But st student is learning six subjects, seven subjects. Semester wise, if you see, they are studying engineering through the 40, 42 subjects. But what we are teaching, hardly two to three subjects. Can't we become mastery in that subject? Just think about it. And you must be mastery in the subject, that's remember. And preparation. How should be a preparation? Important thing, please remember. Whenever a teacher is studying any topic, they will study uh, what is there, what is, means they will have in their mind that I have to teach this, this topic to the students. If with that intention, they read the subject. This is a blunder mistake, never do that. You read the book, you read the topic for your sake, for your understanding. Once if you get understanding, once if you get command over that, then think about I have to teach this to the students, how should I teach? What should be the strategy? How should I express it? This is secondary. While reading, it's for you, for your understanding. Secondary is that I have to teach to the students. This should be a preparation strategy. Now coming to the teaching methods. Few methods I'll tell you. The first one is that target below average students. Whenever you teach in the classroom, 50 to 60 students will be there. Out of that, always target below average student. If this student is understanding my subject, entire class is okay. So in that way, please target your average student. And second one is that simple language. Use always simple language. Don't go for jargon language. Don't use some bottom words. And so that student should refer the dictionary not required. As a teacher, teacher language should be always simple, easy to understand. Even a common student, below average student should understand easily your language. In that way, use simple language and while teaching, always teach slowly. We are not going to catch the train, not required. We are not going to, uh, we are not going to be like rockets or something. Teach slowly. But that should reach to the students. 
teach empathetically Empath empathetically means putting my feet in the foot of others other shoe in that way understand if i sit in the student place can i understand my teaching in that way just think it and if you feel that yes my language is comfortable my teaching is comfortable then everything is fine in that way empathetically slowly you teach give some pause give some commas and observe the students face whether they are understanding or not they need not to say their faces their face expressions will tell you that whether they are following your subject or not so in that way slowly you teach use simple language and third thing is that teach with affection whenever you show some affection to the students the students will show interest on your subject they love your subject they love you so which is possible with your affection never scold or never beat they are your kids so why do you why do you scold them why do you irritate them so always keep smiling face and teach them with lot of affection then automatically students will turn to you though you are teaching tough subject like mathematics or some other subject like cost accounting or a corporate accounting any tough subject because of your attitude because of your affection they'll show interest on your subject they will learn the subject easily it's because of your attitude so always keep a smiling face and with lot of affection you teach the subject and fourth one is that whenever you go to the class revise revise the previous days class students mindset you know they forget the subject very easily what you taught yesterday who will remember if you give a, a small recap revision of yesterday's class synopsis of yesterday's class write it on the board one side corner take 5 minutes of time to revise yesterday's class what happened what i taught then after that you take them today's class they'll accept you very very easily so revision of yesterday's class is important and after completion of the chapter please revise the entire chapter so that so that they never forget the subject and they need not to go for any tuitions not required class teaching is more than enough so do this revision and fifth point is that patience a teacher should have lot of patience your role is not just like parents more than the parents your role you are going to give the life to the students so never show your personal problems family problems or irritation all these things in the class the moment when you go to the class you you are students you are teaching that's it within 5 minutes you will become normal if you are not in a mood they'll change the students will change your mood so always have patience and mingle with the students and have that quality and sixth one is that sense of humor it's very much important sense of humor because of your sense of humor students will love you you can attract the students you can mold the students whatever you want if you take iron if you heat it properly you can mold as it is as per your wish you can give any kind of shape in the same way with sense of humor small jokes small sayings or natural jokes you can mold the students the love they when they laugh automatically they'll turn to you they love you they they just feel like listening to your talks because you are very natural and you are very much friendly so this happens when you have sense of humor for every teacher this is must the moment when you go very seriously in the classroom started teaching the subject the students will see like this oh daily the daily same harassment go to the class and naturally take some jokes and talk to them friendly and general jokes in the classroom with the students only you can start natural way then they'll come to your mood at all it will take 2 to 3 minutes or 5 minutes maximum but rest of the 45 minutes will be you as they'll concentrate they'll listen to you so that's the power of sense of humor and last one is that remove the fear at school level at college level you have to remove the fear of every students it is your responsibility not anyone's how to remove the fear i'll tell you my strategy whenever i go to the class i teach 30 to 40 minutes at least 10 to 20 minutes i provide that time to the students they have to teach what i taught one by one one by one let them take opportunity and whenever students are scaring 
slowly you guide them you tell them nothing will happen they all are your friends you can talk comfortably you can express like slowly motivate them though their presentation is not good though their talk is not good but still tell them that well tried very good initiative next time i expect you to more like use good words then automatically they'll turn they'll change your mind this removing fear is in your hands whenever you get a time conduct some debates in the subject or general topics or elocution you can conduct so anything it's in your hands total half class is in your hands removing fear is very important few tips i have shared with you so let me give you a recap first one is that target below average students and use simple language and teach slowly and teach with affection revision of previous day class and after the chapter patience sense of humor and remove the fear these are the simple things remember my dear teachers all the students they are spending maximum time with us than their parents when they go home their time is very less with their parents but they are with us maximum time so what we have to do we should treat all the children just like our kids my daughters my sons so this should be the affection you will become a family not like classroom it will it will become a family and that is why always treat your students like children your children then automatically you will find the change in the attitude of the students they never forget you in their life though they may not be in touch with you but always they will remember you so these are the simple things what i wanted to share how to teach effectively each and every point just understand implement it so for the coming academic session though you are in teaching or you are going to enter into the teaching field want to enter into the teaching field hope the talk is useful thank you for spending your valuable time there are many more teaching skills teaching related talks i spoke that link is given in the description box please go ahead enhance your communication skills enhance your teaching skills enhance your knowledge you are going to lit you are going to spread your knowledge to the world wonderful students you are going to make just take care keep smiling keep shining always good luck